In October of 2018, the XD team delivered support for voice triggers and speech playback for prototyping voice interactions, but that support was in English only. With this latest release of Adobe XD, we're expanding support to all of the XD languages that we have, that being French, German, Korean, and Japanese, with additional languages being added on a regular basis. In addition to language support, we're also adding a feature that allows you to choose a regional accent for both voice commands and speech playback. This is a capability that's easier to show than it is to describe, so let's take a look at it together. I'm here within Adobe XD on a Macintosh computer, and the language that I'm using is English in the US. The way I control that here on a Mac is in the system's preferences. If I go over to language and region, you can see I have English selected with the US as my region. If I hit the plus sign, you can see, for example, that there are many different regions for English. You've got Australian English, Indian English, Irish English, and they all come with different accents. XD is going to rely on my OS level language and region when it comes to both voice triggers and speech playback. Let me show you now how I can come in and select a particular voice based on my US English region. XD is going to rely on my OS level language and region when it listens to the spoken word, when it tries to do voice recognition. In addition to that, it's going to use that region to determine the different voices I can use for my prototypes. I've got a flow that I've set up here for a voice prototype, and I've gone in and selected particular artboards with speech playback. If I come to the second artboard, and go to the flyout menu here where the little lightning bolt is, I can see that it's set with a time trigger and speech playback, and it's using the default voice that we shipped in October, Joanna. We now have the ability to switch between multiple voices here. So just to show you this feature, let's go from Joanna to Matthew for this artboard. I'll come to another artboard and select, instead of Joanna, we'll go with Ivy. And then we'll leave the last artboard with Joanna, just as a comparison. I'll now come in and set the starting artboard for my flow, and I'll click on the desktop preview icon. And I'll click on the prototype and test my interaction. Alexa, what's on my calendar? You have dinner with Judy, today at 6.30 p.m. So obviously that's the Matthew voice. Alexa, open my recipes. Welcome to my recipes. Looking for something specific? Search by name or ingredients. What would you like? Wow, it sounds like uh, Ivy is a child with a bit of a small voice. Alexa, search for chocolate cake. I found seven recipes for chocolate cake. Try saying show number two or scroll right to see more. So that would be the Joanna, the default voice that we had when we first delivered XD. So that's just a quick sample of how you can play with the different voices and different regions with the voice feature within Adobe XD. I encourage you to give these new capabilities a try.